I would be remiss to not bring up the relationship that you have established with Bronco Mendenhall as you again renew this uh, Rebels and Cougars rivalry coach. How did you first meet Bronco, and when did that uh, re- football relationship really begin to blossom? Well, Bronco and I uh, worked together uh, at Northern Arizona back in the in the mid '90s when we both were kind of getting into the business, and uh, you know, really enjoyed. Uh, I, I really, I hope you would say the same thing, but I really enjoyed uh, working with Bronco every day, and uh, I just think he's a tremendous coach and a tremendous guy, and I think BYU is really lucky to have him. And uh, you know, he's a guy that uh, you know we're both pretty. Uh, focused on what we're doing so it's not like we uh spend a lot of time we, neither one of us are phone guys we don't spend a lot of time <laughs> on the phone but we get a chance to catch up here and there and and then uh uh bronco's wife holly and i we were all in college together at uh, the university of montana and she is a uh a, a, a wonderful lady and uh so we have we have strong ties to the men and halls Coach, does that just make you want to win that much more when you face Bronco <laughs> Mendenhall, just for bragging rights? You know, you don't see see him every every so often. You don't talk to him, but when you do, you can kind of rub that in his face like, yeah, dude, beat you twice now. But, <laughs> you know what's funny is uh, this is such a, a people business, and it's a, it's a tight circle, and you know in, in coaching who the good guys are. And so uh, when, you're, when you have a chance to beat uh, uh, one of your friends, you feel you feel bad for them, and you know who the good guys are, and so you cheer for the good guys week in and week out. And so there's always a little bit of rub there. You you do like to beat your have a chance to win and and beat your buddies, but when it comes down to the end of it, uh, you don't like seeing your friends lose. 